Hi guys, it is another miserable, blah, depressing, gray winter day here in the drought-plagued, arctic-blasted wasteland of South Austin, Texas, where I have rolled out of bed to begin a, a deeper descent into uh, whatever I have made of my, the trap I have made out of my life. And so I will start my day like I always do, like any uh, collapsed uh, depressitarian. Is that what I am, or is it a depressed collapsitarian? Going on here, pouring my cup of overpriced coffee and uh, clicking on the news to see what is happening uh, on this dreary winter day in the rest of the world. Here is what is happening. This is how they're keeping warm. Oh, I don't know where this latest train wreck is. Uh, I think this, somewhere over in Europe. This is how they're keeping warm in Europe today. As uh, there's, there's one more of these train wrecks of the apocalypse. I'm spelling out uh, what's going on on this planet. So any who's uh, while the while those train wrecks are happening over there, let's look over here into the uh, the daily headlines for more evidence that this planet is heading directly into a fiery train wreck. And uh, I can't think of a better place to start. We're going to go over here to the left end of the <coughs> alternative media dial. And I'm going to go over here to alternate environ, alternate.org's uh, top environmental stories of the week. Which, needless to say, are uh, mostly about this uh, Keystone Pipeline thing. Top story of the week, uh, Obama's weak Enviro agenda is suicide for humanity. Here is the stark future we face. There you go. I think that says a lot. I've already gone over the story about frackers setting off earthquakes uh, so most of these stories are, of course, calling out the, uh, the State Department's rubber stamping of this Keystone Environmental Impact, that and frackers. Here's how Pennsylvania's governor wants to scrap the ban on fracking in state parks and forests. Some more stuff about the California drought. Here's a good news story. 17 foundations pledged to divest their stocks of fossil fuels. And then uh, I guess my, my favorite uh, lefty environmental story of the week. Maybe I'll do a full rant on it later on. Humans could really bring about the end of the world via climate and nuclear disasters. Well, uh, that's two of the many disasters we could bring down the world. But the idea of a futureless Humanity, is that another way of saying a humanless future? But the idea of a futureless humanity is difficult to take. So the media just does not cover it. Meaning the mass, uh, the mainstream mass media, I assume is what they're referring to, does not bother to cover the future of humanity. So anywho, let's just go test that theory. Those, uh, those naysayers over there in the alternative media. And gee, guess what? The top story uh, on the list of uh, stories today is the very same number one story that was here 24 hours ago in their list of top 100 stories on the planet. 
18-foot Burmese python found in Everglades. Okay, I think we've gotten that across. Let's see, then from there to from Florida to the California drought. I'll have, there's a bunch of stories about that. Before I get into them, here, here's one. <laughs> here's one. Uh, bad news for Moscow's squirrels. Under the squirrels of Moscow's parks, one by one, the bushy-tailed residents of Moscow's parks have been disappearing. The problem, Russians have gone nuts for squirrels, meaning uh, they've gone nuts for eating squirrels. So this is how Moscow, uh, th this is the Moscow version of food stamps. Uh, go hunting these squirrels in the city parks for something to eat. From Moscow, over there to Willits, California. A look at Willits, a drought-stricken California town. The northern California town of Willits is just one of 17 rural areas that face a severe water shortage. It is the California Department of Public Health warning that the town has less than 100 days of drinking water left. And I don't know how this is going to affect the marijuana uh, harvest in Northern California this year. I might have to do a, a weed rant a little later. Okay, let's see from there over there to France, where now France climbing on the ivory crushing bandwagon. France crushes huge illegal ivory haul. This is more and more of these uh, countries, I guess, guys, you know, claiming they're going to stop elephant poaching by crushing their illegal ivory, uh, what, whatever. Okay, from France, let's go over there to West Virginia. All right, the CDC has now ruled that tainted West Virginia water is okay for everyone to use. Go back to sleep. A federal health official said Wednesday that West Virginians can use their tap water however they choose after last month's chemical spill contaminated it. Still, public skepticism remains. Wow, you think so? Okay, from West Virginia to Bangladesh, where we find the headline, Bangladesh to get $1.2 billion in loans this year from the Islamic Development Bank to help finance its oil imports. You know that uh, Bangladesh is so overpopulated that there's no way uh, that the only way that they can uh, get oil for their gas-sucking cars is to import it, but this is the latest banksters behind it all teaming up. Uh, the Islamic Development Bank teaming up with Big Oil to make sure those Bangladeshis have gas for their gas-sucking cars. Oh, we can go back to West Virginia, where we just uh, heard about the CDC telling uh, the federal official telling West Virginians it's okay to drink their water. Now we have another article from the Associated Press. West Virginia official patients told not to drink water. A county health official in West Virginia said doctors are advising patients not to drink tap water weeks after it was deemed safe from a chemical 
contamination, although a federal official says that it is safe to drink. Okay, you take your, your pick there. All right, from West Virginia to New Mexico, where we find fire sparks evacuation at U.S. nuclear waste plant. All right, an underground, fi an underground fire forced the evacuation of a nuclear waste plant Although the blaze was nowhere near any radioactive material, authorities said, authorities said, don't worry, go back to sleep. The authorities have you covered from West Virginia to New Mexico. Okay, let's go from New Mexico over there to the banksters behind it all where we find our friends at the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, urging the U.S. to lift its debt cap promptly. The IMF said today that the United States should strengthen its economic confidence by promptly increasing its debt ceiling. There you go. There is a way to strengthen economic confidence is to do what debt ceiling. All right, back to uh, back to Willits, California, where water shortage is stoking fears, stoking fears. Okay. All right, we find uh, good news from the U.S. stock market as it moves sharply higher, led by Walt Disney uh, Company. Yep, for uh, th there you go, uh, the number one purveyor of fairy tales on this planet, uh, leading the U.S. stock market higher. There you go. I can't think of a better uh, planet-eating corporation than Disney Incorporated uh, having Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs lead the U.S. economy. Okay, from Walt Disney Corporation to this is two stories right in a row. Uh... We'll take the Reuters uh, version uh, right in a row. We have two stories about this little uh, scary-looking UFO-looking guy. UK stealth drone surpasses test flight expectations. Okay. Uh, a pilotless drone described as Britain's most advanced aircraft surpassed all expectations in a series of secret tests in the Australian outback. The new drone named Tyrannus after the Celtic God of Thunder has been designed to undertake sustained surveillance. Yes, it has. Okay, from the Australian outback, where we have these the, these uh, surveillance drones from Britain. Let's go over here to this good news, uh, supposedly headline story. U.S. government to spend thirty million dollars on forest restoration. All right, uh, now, what, what I don't know, I would have to go on the story to find out uh, if that means, if, if that's an uptick or a budget slashing. It is going to take a hell of a lot more than any lousy $30 million to restore America's forest. I think that comes out maybe to about $1 
per acre, and I'm probably being uh, I'm probably being completely optimistically naive if I think uh, the U.S. is going to spend one dollar per acre to restore its forest. Jesus Christ! Uh, here's a, another story about that international criminal court over there. Uh, hauling all of those Africans into court. Here's one uh, to uh, make me choke on my coffee. Anyone who doesn't understand how global warming and climate change across the planet isn't hitting you in your wallet, coffee prices surge on dry weather in Brazil. Coffee prices surged to nine-month highs as dry weather in Brazil threatens to damage the coffee crop. There you go from Brazil to North Carolina. Can you see that picture of this guy's hand? North Carolina River turns to gray sludge after coal ash spill. So I guess this is the Dan River where thousands of tons of coal ash has been spewing for days into the Dan River, uh, turning it into gray sludge. So I guess that uh, it is, that's still going on. Okay, from there, less I guess this is, is anywhere in Western North America. Uh, climate change already hurting farmers. Climate change is already hurting farmers in rural residents. Agriculture Secretary Tom Vlizak said Wednesday, arguing that the U.S. would regret any failure to adapt and prepare for shifting weather realities. There you go. The shifting weather realities. I talked more about that in my uh, climate change meltdown roundup rant uh, yesterday. Okay. Uh, from there, here, here's uh, there's probably a lot of dots into the end times here. Uh, how many dots can you connect uh, in this story? Spanish cargo ship splits in two. A military helicopter evacuated the crew of a Spanish cargo ship that slammed into a jetty and split in two in choppy Atlantic Ocean waters off southwestern France on Wednesday. Uh, I anyway, guys, uh, I, I don't have time to start breaking down that for uh, anyone who uh, does not understand the dot connecting. Here we go, uh, from there to Greenland, where we find Greenland's first coral reef found. So there you go, they probably found that sucker about a year before it uh, dies. Okay. Let's see. I better hurry up. Good Lord, I'm already 19 minutes in this. Let's go over there to England. Britain's rescued from floods as Cameron grapples with crisis. Britain was lashed by more heavy rain Thursday, today, as firefighters rescued people from flooded homes and Prime Minister David Cameron scrambled to deal with the crisis. The deluge continued a day after storms washed away a key coastal railway, 
breached sea defenses and sparked new flood warnings. There you go. That's how they are dealing with preparing for and adapting to climate change in England. Okay. Uh, here, here we go. <laughs> I'm not sure what this has to do with the end times. I just found it a humorous. Catholic school teacher fired over pregnancy. An unmarried teacher at a Roman Catholic middle school in Montana has been fired after getting pregnant. As long as we're talking about school news, I, uh, I enjoyed uh, this one. They're coming to get our guns. School officials deeply troubled over guns appearing on signs banning guns. All right, we do have some good news from uh, the global corporatocracy. In this case, uh, we find this story right next to a Best Buy ad for an, an $1,100 washing machine. We have this good news from the business pages. Sony Corporation announces huge round of layoffs as it breaks off its TV business and dumps PCs. There you go. Uh, Sony dumping PCs. Okay. Here, here's a, uh, I, I love this mainstream media headline. Hardcore commie bastards come out against common core. Those hardcore commie bastards. All right. Uh, as I say, now most of these I already talked about yesterday. Here's one. Let's go over there to North Dakota where we find this one chilling video shows neo-Nazis trying to take over a tiny American town. I'm not sure if the neo-Nazis they're talking about in this story are those frackers taking over North Dakota or not. Uh, if it's not, it should be. We, North Dakota and this planet has a lot more to be concerned about the frackers taking over North American towns than they do neo-Nazis. They need to be thinking of the neo-liberal capitalist pig frackers. Anyway, uh... Enough of that. Let's see. I got, uh, I'm not even halfway through uh, the headlines here. So I better hurry. Uh, here is Gazans endure power blackouts with dark humor. Yep, you better have some dark humor going uh, going in uh, to what we're heading into. Another story about the, the uh, drought and heat wave going on down there in Brazil. Shorts banned in Brazil heat. Worker ops for skirt. There you go. You can expect to see more men wearing skirts as the heat waves ramp up on this planet. Okay, here's definitely a, uh, a, a peek into the end times. Let this be a warning to anybody getting rid of their gas-sucking car to take mass transit. Okay, police officer maces and tackles man asking for a nickel to have enough fare to get on the train. There you go. Uh, you better have your full train fare. 
Okay, to Mexico, where we find Mexico to spend millions in violence-plagued state. You, you don't really have to go to Africa anymore to take a peek into the end times. Just go down there, just south of the Rio Grande River, and you will see plenty of signs uh, of, the, of the end times. Okay, here we go, uh, and I think this is right here. This might even be in Austin, Texas, and if it is, I need to go meet this guy. Professor Goes Green. He will live in a dumpster for a year. Dr. Jeff Wilson checks out his new 33-square-foot dumpster home. It is the ultimate in going green. Uh, environmental science professor Dr. Jeff Wilson is making a 33-square-foot trash dumpster his new home for the next year. And again, I need to find out if that guy is right here in Austin, uh, Texas. As long as we're in Texas, let's go from that story to this one. No jail in affluenza case. So you've probably heard about this case. Closing a case that ripped a that ripped at sensitivities about privilege and punishment. Texas Judge Jean Boyd on Wednesday reaffirmed her decision to send a reckless rich kid to a Tony treatment facility instead of to prison. There you go. That is what happens uh, to the rich kids in Texas. All right. Anyway, I got about, I better, three more minutes here. Here's a story about the Pope's Harley Davidson. Here is Philippine leader likens China's rulers to Hitler. Here is UN reporting on rise in Israeli demolitions in the West Bank. Oh boy. Uh, so here we go. U.S. urges Central Africa to end cycle of violence after lynching. There you go. Would you please end your cycle of violence? Alright, and we'll just wrap it up uh, with this one. This is uh, getting uh, close to the end anyway, and I can't think this is as good a place as any to end uh, today's rant about uh, the end times. Hegel worried about ethical breakdown in the U.S. military. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel is concerned that recent scandals signal a potential ethical breakdown in the U.S. military and has asked commanders to urgently address the problem. And uh, since I started with alternet.org, uh, let's see, I did, let me finish with this one, which was the top headline on Alternet's uh, regular headline site next to a picture of a battered American flag. We will go from Chuck Hagel talking about the, uh, eth the ethical emergencies in the U.S. military to Alternet's top headline, Noam Chomsky. No wonder the world is terrified of America. We are the world's biggest threat. Keeping the world safe 
from America. There you go. And let me uh, just wrap up today's uh, headlines of the end times with uh, where I started with the fiery train wreck that uh, exemplifies planet Earth here on February 5th, 2014 as the train wreck uh, that this planet uh, is heading into continues. Bye, guys.